a funny story, I saw Wall Street, the movie with Michael Douglas, and uh, my dad and I kind of had that relationship, so I went into it and uh, made a ton of money almost too quickly. It was wonderful. Yeah, it was really nice. Uh, but uh, I, we had all this money and everything, but we realized that we weren't really happy. Well, he wasn't very happy. I started to get an ulcer uh, just because of my relationship with my dad and all the worries and living day by day with all that money and stuff like that. It was just and the red meat, probably. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was too much for me. So uh, I, uh, I walked by Marshall Fields one day, and a guy handed me a flyer, and he was dressed as an English Bobby. And, uh, and I thought he was like a real Bobby. And I thought, well, how cool of Marshall Fields to do that. So I started talking to the guy. And he explained to me that this was, he was just like an actor. And this was a job for him. And I asked him how he liked it and stuff like that. He was one of the happiest guys I ever met. And I thought, Jesus, this guy, you know, I don't know how much he's making. It turns out it was like, you know, seven fifty an hour. But I don't know how much this guy's making. But whatever he's making is making him really happy. So uh, I started asking him about it. And he brought me into his agency, and I started doing it on the side. I'd go work from the, I'd work the floor from like six till three, and then I'd go, uh, I'd push papers from, I don't know, five till, you know, five till eight, whenever downtown nine, shut down. Nine or ten sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, you know, because we'd go out in the bars afterwards and stuff like that, uh, because you develop a, a circle of friends, and that's something that I never had when I was doing stocks. And we all shared the same interests, and we all had the same hopes and dreams, and, uh, and so I figured, hey, this is really what I want to do full time. I mean, we've made money. You know, why not, uh, why not enjoy our lives? We had a house that had three bedrooms. I don't see this as just a job. What I see it is as an opportunity. And not for just guys like me or just for people on the street. I see this as... You know, when theater started out, you know, I'm sure theater was just some thing that only a couple of people did until it became this thing that everybody could be involved in. So I hope to reach out to uh, starting a youth program for kids uh, like uh, maybe even our kids who could involve themselves in this type of business because it's not a job. It's really a business. Uh, it's good for the economy. It gets people out on the street. It's a good way to uh, have a job where you're out. Uh, it's hands on. It's kind of like Halloween every day. It's kind of like Halloween every day, except not just candy, but seven fifty an hour. My greatest fear as a paper monkey is not doing my job. My greatest fear is if I'm out there and it happens, you know, sometimes you'll get 10 minutes where no one even looks at you. But my greatest fear would be that I, I go out with a whole stack and I guess not pass out any and uh, be one of those guys who does the dump. Uh, the dump is where you take your stack, and after about an hour, you just throw it in the trash can, and then you go back and you know say you're done with your route. And uh, of course, if if that happened, he could always go back to the stock market. I mean, it's there for you. Yeah, yeah, that's that's always that's always out there. So that's nice. There are a lot of people back home who say uh, that what I've done is foolish, um, and a lot of those people. I say are foolish because, you know, they're going to turn around one day when they're 45 and see that their whole life was just, you know, stupid, just nothing. And uh, I'm going to look back on what I've done and say, hey, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to cow outfit, but it's my cow outfit. It's my choice. We actually are borrowing the cow outfit.